tomorrow, a long time Louisville theater is going dark for good. Yeah, and Village 8 isn't closing without a lot of love, and I think we need to properly set the mood here, don't we? We do. Should I Ryan Seacrest it? Dim the lights! Here's your feature presentation. <laughs> no one does a goodbye so long. Quite like the makers. I'll be right here. Of a movie. Mama always said dying was a part of life. I sure wish it was. And the place that's shown Louisville those <laughs> is preparing for one of its own. Can I was next over here, please? Three for Elvis. Village 8. 16's a change. In St. Matthews. We like this place. They have the best popcorn. Opened in the 1970s. My boys are in their 40s now, and we came here when they were youngsters. And has shown thousands of movies in the decades since. Star Wars. Buzz Lightyear. The Blair Witch Project. I just want to apologize to Mike's mom. Fred Ramsey was there for a lot of them. I went home and I was just terrified for like a week. I'm like, all right, do I sleep with the lights on? First as a watcher, then as an employee. I've been working here since August of 2000, so 22 years. He's done every job in the building, eventually picking up the name Popcorn Man for his lively way of selling the theater's signature snack. I'm the popcorn man, the popcorn man, the popcorn man, the popcorn man. I can popcorn as fast as you can. I can popcorn as fast as you can. So you say Reese's Pieces? The village became his home. All right, total comes to $11. And I became friends with some customers just because of working here. So you can understand why he's feeling a certain way. And I was just so sad. About the theater entering its final act. It's probably a month ago. My manager comes into the box office and says, sorry, Red, our last day, July 5th. Just like the minutes leading up to showtime, there were previews of what was to come. They originally told us five years ago, they were like, all right, we're going to be closing. But there were still some things up in the air that they might relocate. Norton owned the property and had eventual plans. Then the pandemic hit, closing doors here for months and hurting theaters everywhere even those with new technology and reclining chairs. So You're welcome, thank you, enjoy the movie. Every moviegoer loves a comeback story, and Village 8 tried. On Tuesdays, it's only $2. You can't beat that anywhere. But it just wasn't enough. Red, fighting feeling blue. I'm gonna try not to shed a tear, especially in front of another my co-workers, but it may come out. I love poof. Winnie the Pooh taught us, you're lucky to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. And for Red, this is it. I don't want to see the end. A theater loved right until the end. Minions, The Rise of Gru will be the final movie shown at 735 tomorrow night. And a lot of Village 8 employees plan to work at Baxter Avenue theaters. Both theaters are owned by the same company.